right guys, today by request, I am back out at the abandoned Big Kmart in uh, Canton, Ohio here off of Route 62 in Harmont. Um, I first filmed this two years ago on the very last day that they were open. And uh, I actually still have some cups, some popcorn cups and some, uh, what is it, like icy cups or something from the Little Caesars because I bought a whole bunch of them. And uh, so I still have those. But yeah, I've been having a lot of requests to do an update here. Even though, I mean, a lot, a lot of people have been out here and filmed this place several times uh, since I first did it. And in fact, that video that I filmed at that time is the one that Wally saw that got him started on YouTube. So that's really cool. Um, let's take a look at it here. Just for starters, there is the front of the building right there. You can see a lot of label scars over here. You can see where it said pharmacy up there. Um, let's see. Obviously, you can see where it said Big K up there on the front. A lot of wind here, so I hope you can hear me all right. Plus, we got semis parked over here making noise. Um, right up over here somewhere was where it said Little Caesars. Let's go a little closer and see if we can read these label scars. In fact, what we'll do is we're going to start over here at the side. That's where it says pharmacy. You can clearly see that one. Um, they have these signs up now, these no trespassing signs with a cable across here so you can't drive back. If you guys remember in a video I did over the winter, people were coming back here and just dumping stuff. There was all kinds of couches and TVs and beds and just all kinds of junk back there wrapping around the side of the building. There was even a TV sitting right here, I remember. But uh, yeah, let's just start right here. Hold on. So that right there is the pharmacy sign. I do love how well you can see that. That looks really cool. I've always liked this down here, how you can just look through here and it's almost kind of spooky. <laughs> look, this is all cracking up. It's always amazing to me how once these places are uh, abandoned and there's no upkeep, everything just starts crumbling. I mean, what kind of upkeep did you really do out here on the cement? But it's crumbling, you know, as well as these pillars here. They're just crumbling up. Now, these were the front doors here. And obviously, they're all boarded up now, so there's not even any windows to look in. But, yeah, look at this. I don't know if somebody hit that on purpose just to be stupid. Look, it's just foam in there. It's not even, it's not even like real concrete. Mattresses down here. I told you guys, people just start dumping stuff at these places. We've got a little bit of uh, graffiti started here. Juan and Souk. <laughs> they left their Hennessy. I wonder if it was Juan or Souk. There's the big K sign. That looks pretty cool with those clouds behind it, guys. These, uh, these little wooden slats up here, that's where the closing sign would have been hung. But there it is, the big K label scar. Pretty cool. All the carts would have been lined up here. So I'll keep on moving down here. Yeah, this is crazy. Oh my God. Okay, look at this, guys. Where these mattresses are that people just dumped off, that's a king size too. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> Look at this. They backed right into the pillar, destroyed the pillar here just to dump off mattresses. Like, I'm not even kidding, guys. They could have put them out front at their house and the trash guys would take them. And yes, because I'm stupid, I had to look at it and it is a king. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. 
So we got more evidence right up here of another sign. I think that's, I think that was like a, a D-Bold or Die Hard or something like that, a D-Bold, I think. And then down here, look at this, pallets people just dumped off. Down here, this was the garden center. You can, I'm not sure if it'll show up on screen or not, but you can definitely see the scar from where it said garden center. And of course, these doors are boarded off too. No parking. And then we got the prison yard. That's kind of dirty back there, actually. We got it chained closed so you can't go in. And then over here, I also noticed they have the no trespassing signs on another cable just so you can't drive around the back and dump stuff off. This was all windows here and doors and that's all boarded off now. Chain linked. Okay, let's go back around the front here because I got some cool stuff to show you. So I was scoping out the front of the building here to see if there were any signs left at all on these pillars, anything that said Kmart. And I don't see any at all. Also in the parking lot here, I believe there used to be some signs that said Kmart up here. I mean, besides just what was on the cart corrals. And the only thing I can find is right over here with this sign that says garden shop entrance. That's pretty cool. It'd be better if it said garden center. And I'm sure since I just filmed those, they will be gone the next time I come over here. So let's go out front here a minute. You can see the bee, but right past the bee, that used to be an auto center long ago. I mean, that thing closed down long before the Kmart did. Okay, guys, so, yeah, this is what it is right here, the service center. You can clearly see the label scar up there. That's really cool. Nothing has changed with this place, you know, since I first filmed it. Um, it looks really cool. And it's got the sign up there that it's available for rent. I, I would think that's legit. I mean, it looks like a... A newer sign. It's pretty clean and everything. Let's look around the side here. Yeah, you've got garage bays on each side. One, two, three, four. Four bays on each side. I'm, I'd be curious to see what it looks like on the inside there. I mean, it's been closed up tight for years and years and years with no evidence of ever anybody ever going inside. So it's probably still pretty clean and untouched in there. Even this little back door here, a little bit of damage there, but it's nothing that anybody actually got in. Let's go around the side here a minute. Yeah, and here's three bays over here and a door, but that's the service center. And you can see some crumbling along the top there and, you know, molding coming off the bays and stuff like that. Here's the little, <laughs> the little places where you would have stuck your keys if you brought your car in after hours. And then on to the last part and the really cool part. The Kmart Express gas station out front. Now from what I understand, this was the first ever Kmart Express. Um, as you can see, there's all these little barns and buildings out here. There's a guy 
using it now. Uh, Millcroft Barnes, I believe it's called. We'll see it in a minute. And uh, he sells all this stuff. This is his business out here. Tons of these little barns. People buy these things and make little houses out of them and everything. Pretty cool. But look, we still have, uh, well, partial gas prices up here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then in the background here, you can see the old uh, Kmart sign, even though it's down. That's where it used to be. So let's step over here a minute. Yeah, these barns are pretty cool, actually. I've gone in and looked at them before. They're a lot bigger than you expect them to be. Like, here's one that's open right here deep and wide you could put a little bedroom up there that'd be fun anyways let's come around around here a minute there's the k express sign peeking out they haven't painted over that yet there's still gas pumps in here hiding behind or i mean hiding between the uh the barns pretty cool Oh, there's a cool sign up there. Big K Express, convenience at a discount price. Now that was the sign right up there. Prevalent over the highway. And then peeking out over here, this was the Express building. And now it belongs to Millcraft Barns. They've completely repainted it and redone it. Pretty cool, let's see if they'll let us Get a little bit of footage inside for a minute. Okay guys, yeah, this is what it looks like right now. Um, they did a really good job disguising it, but they just gave me permission I can come in and, uh, and make a sweeping shot, and I saw something cool in here too. So let's go ahead and step in here. Look, call or text A.A. Ron. <laughs> so this used to be full of all kinds of goodies. You come in here and get your pop, candy and whatever. And look at this guys, the original restroom sign is still up. That is sweet. <laughs> that is pretty cool. But this is what used to be the Kmart Express uh, little station here. You know, coolers and everything lining and uh, shelves and everything with candy and you know anything you can find at a gas station all right guys that was really cool that was awesome of them to let me film inside there for a minute let's get a shot from back here yeah look at that that is really cool kmart express and the gas pumps hidden in between the barns <laughs> that's really cool i can't help it i just got to look at them one more time pump one and two and there's a, it would be so cool to have this big thing right here on my wall. That would be so awesome. <laughs> Lottery tickets sold here. That's the thing about coming out to film this stuff is, you know, it's really cool to see and it's really cool when it stays here so more people can come see it. But once you film this stuff, people are like, oh yeah, I'm going to get that. And the next time you come out, it's all gone. So, if you're one of those people, just leave this stuff here. Let it be hidden and let more people come out here and see this stuff. Because it's just, it's so awesome. I mean, who would think that between the barns, there's hidden Kmart gems. So cool. One last look at the racing flag on the Kmart Express. And the pumps hidden between the barns. Yeah, guys, seriously, leave this stuff here. Don't come out here looting. Because it's just so awesome that this stuff is still, 
you know, out in the wild for us to find and to come explore, even if you don't film it, just to come out here and look at it and see the remnants. So cool. So that's it, guys. That's an update on the Big K at uh, Harmont and Route 62 in Canton. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I've been having requests for updates of other places as well. And uh, I'll get around to doing those. Looks like my car is still good. I was afraid somebody would come over here and mess with it. This isn't the greatest area, so... Oh well. Alright guys. On to the next adventure. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that little bell so you get the notifications when my videos go live. And if you want to, check out uh, my Skate Master Nate channel. That has a lot of cool explorations before I started this channel. I'll put links to all that below. See you guys later. Peace.